This is a video just to show you the Z-axis rider um, which I built. Now this is actually installed, so you've got the LMAEU bearing holder there. Um, you've got the 8mm rod axis fixed up there and at the top there. Um, and that's fitted on using that with the gap through the centre to allow you to take it on and off. And because this is on a smooth rod, you can't obviously fix it because it's fixed by these two brackets. So this is just uh, free on there. A little bit of grease in it on it just to help it move, but that is basically free. Um, and that's fixed just by the tension of the belt. Now what this is designed to do is to limit the motion in one of the axes, in one of the, the, the corners. And this is something that the Thingomatic's done with the two main rods with the screw thread in the screw thread in the middle and all of the various rep wraps. I found that having um, two Z uh, two wobble arresters, which are these things, uh, on two of the axes meant that although this one was wobbling this one was wobbling and it would allow the platform to just slightly move because it wasn't actually fixed because this is quite loose a little bit of movement and that one's moving so these are not actually tight on here so the whole stage would move a bit like that forced in between these two um, Z wobblers. Now by fixing one of the axes and then on this one having the Z wobble axes, uh, Z wobbler rester, meant that it would be fixed between this one a lot more, that one in the far corner a lot more, that one perfectly and then this one would take up more of the, the wobbliness of the axes resulting in a much um, smoother uh, ver uh, rise um, and the results are quite amazing this is a part I printed um, with a slight fail halfway through but as you can see it's uh, pretty perfect perfectly smooth about to see on that edge there um, and there. Um, so that's what I've done. The original idea was to have two of them, one in this axis and one in this one, but it meant the platform could move in that direction. So if you imagine this one would move up like that, this one would move down and that meant that as it would rise it could do that so it could rise like that resulting in the layer height being squished and then it would ping back up so that's why I resorted to just using the one with the Zeb Wobbler Ester and results are really good uh, this is the gear that I printed um, quite recently just after I I made it um, and I've been printing various other pieces um, including this, this is a, a shroud hopefully I can get it in focus you can see it's, it's quite nice there you go you can see how flat it is compared to the um, Follow focus, which is pictured on on the thing of a site um, for this part, uh, which is www.thingiverse.com forward slash thing colon one zero four six two. Um, the idea is that this is fixed and it rises up and down like that. And the good thing is, because it's not fixed, you can still just lift the whole thing up, clear it. The 
key nut holders, which are these. Um, again, work similar to this. Okay, so it is possible just to wedge it back on. These work similar to ones in the cruiser, just so it fixes it in. And the nut holder just simply slides on, and that's now fixed. No wobble in that at all. Um, and it's free, and it means that you can lift it up if you just want to get your tweezers in there and clear it. Um, but yeah, that's that's my modification. This is my new Z Rider, which I've now printed because I've got the the axis really nice. Again, it's quite flat there. And I'm quite impressed. Um, also, this is a, a early generation MakerBot, um, which had the Z axis issues. So what I just did is um, just snapped off the lower bit of that, so I've got no tightening. But I just need to adjust this because it's quite slack, as you can see. Um, what other things have I done as I'm here? Got the the printed Mark V. Um, this is running off of a board which I made myself. This is uh, just a Lulu uh, carrier board, but the thing is, this is actually uh, one single layer um, which I designed based on some designs on Thingiverse. That will be going up on, on there soon. And my. I'm quite proud of this. This is my plastic spool holder. It's quite simply, if I take you over there, it's quite simply uh, an M8 rod with um, nut or washer uh, bearing, washer, big washer, um, and then again on this side there's another big washer, so that just allows them to all ride quite nicely. Um, so yeah, that is the rider. I hope that explains a few things, and I hope you like it. And I hope it gets rid of some of your wobbles. <laughs>